If you like tomato and grilled cheese, well, man, I got the soup just for you today on The Cooked Goose. Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Cooked Goose. I'm your host, Alex, and today I have a little inspiration, um, especially from a store that my girlfriend works at. Um, she currently is still working at Nordstrom's and she's been there for three years and of course Nordstrom's is famously known for, known for one thing and on the food side of course and that is their famous tomato basil soup. Oh yeah, that's what we're making today. Um, it's one of my favorites as well. Um, I'll be showing you also our homemade focaccia that we've also made with some rosemary and sea salt. That's going to be added with that with some parmesan on top of there and nicely toasted. Um, but first of all, of course, as I always say, let's get into it. Using a peeler, peel the carrot until no outer skin is shown. Once you have finished peeling, cut carrot in half down the middle into small bite-sized pieces. Now onto your onion. Cut onion in half, peel back outer shell. Then take your first half and cut in half again with the base still attached. Then cut vertically into strips. Once those strips are made with the base still attached, cut horizontally into small dice sized pieces and then last cut off the base. For the fresh basil, pick off the leaves first, then take your biggest leaf out of the bunch and stack all the other leaves inside the big leaf, then roll into a cigar shape and cut horizontally. To make the tomato basil soup, in a 6-8 to eight quart saucepan or in a pot, over medium heat, warm the olive oil and swirl to coat the bottom of the pan. Add in the carrots, onion, and dried basil, and saute. Stir occasionally until softened about 10 to 12 minutes. And remember to always salt and pepper everything in this dish, no matter what. It enhances the flavor as well as bring more body to the soup. Now add in the tomatoes including the puree and the chicken broth. Bring just to a boil. Reduce the heat on low and simmer uncovered for about 20 minutes until all the flavors are together. You're not going to want to miss out on this. Since I don't have an immersion blender, I use the ladle and put it in a regular blender. Make sure you are very, very careful with this and to slowly pulse as it is all blended in. Now to give it that best texture, you're gonna add about two cups of heavy whipping cream. Oh yeah, this will really enhance this soup. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Oh man. 
the topping, the Parmesan, the cracked pepper, and that freshly cut basil that we did, as well as the rosemary focaccia. Ooh, damn, this looks good. Well, before we get into this, of course, I need to talk about drink pairings. Um, you know, with the tomato basil soup, you cannot go wrong with red wine. Uh, definitely Pinot Noir from Giraffe. You can get it at any store. I've seen it at Target. I've seen it, man, I've, I think I've seen it at Walmart. Um, definitely Whole Foods for sure. Um, it's gonna be that lightness to it because you have the heavy creamy soup and the bisque with the, also with the bread. If you really wanna take it up a notch and get that enhancement, definitely go with the cap soft. Um, as you can tell, uh, I'm a huge fan of Dunham Cellars. Um, this is their 22nd vintage of their cap soft. Um, it's knock out of the park. You could not go wrong. Um, impress your friends with this, with a steak or like what happened tonight with the uh, lovely tomato bisque. And of course, our non-alcoholic pairing, because um, we're going the more Italian kind of look here with the soup, uh, San Pellegrino, uh, any flavor. The one that we have is their new Ascenza. It's the Chandri and Wild Strawberry. So a little fruity and the fizzy with the nice creamy and the bread. We'll have a lot of that in there. Um, but of course, tonight I'm drinking the Pinot Noir. Ooh. Yeah, light on all that. It's very, very good. Um, it kind of has some like uh, almost licorice background, tobacco background, which is interesting, but I think it might pair well with the uh, tomato bisque. And here we go. Mm. Oh, wow. The basil and the topping really makes it. definitely have that carrot in there but that creaminess and the smoothness of that heavy whipping cream will sure make this soup man on a cold day on any day you can enjoy this oh man oh wow yeah definitely make this at home if you're sick or if your kids are sick definitely make this for them and they'll feel a lot better well, I think that wraps up for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it for you watching me and helping you cook um, amazing food. And like I always say, stay hungry.